Hey, home groups. I hope you were encouraged by the sermon passage this Sunday. It's a great encouraging text for me because it speaks to an issue of assurance. It speaks to the issue of eternal security. How do I know that I am safe? How do I know that I am truly saved? What is that confidence based upon? Is it based upon my faithfulness? If it were based upon my faithfulness, I wouldn't have assurance because there's no guarantee that I won't change my mind. There's no guarantee that I will be faithful. But no, my confidence, my assurance, my hope, my eternal security doesn't rest upon me and my faithfulness. It rests upon the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. And that is what this passage is all about. You see, no one believes until we are given into Jesus' hands by the Father. The Scripture tells us that all whom the Father gives to the Son, they will come to the Son. They will believe in the Son. And everyone who comes to the Son, they will not be cast out. No matter what, they will never be cast out. If we believe in Christ, we will never be rejected. We will never be abandoned. We will never be let go. God will not turn us out because of that. How do we know that? Why is that true? Because the text tells us that Jesus does the will of the Father. Because Jesus perfectly, faithfully does the will of His Father, we will never be turned out. We who believe will never be turned out because we who believe are those whom the Father has given to the Son. You see, the will of the Father is that all that He has given to Jesus, Jesus would keep. He would raise up. Not one would be lost, but all would be saved. That's God's will. And if Jesus perfectly does the will of the Father, then all whom the Father has given to Jesus, who thus believe in Jesus, they will be safe and eternally secure. Brothers and sisters, your eternal security, my eternal security, rests upon the faithfulness of Jesus, not on my faithfulness. I hope and pray that this truth, that this text, encourages your heart as you discuss these glorious truths tonight.